Hello, my name is Hatsasti and welcome to the second episode of the second season of FTL. We left off uh, on this screen and need to decide uh, where to go. And as you can see, uh, there is uh, pretty many red sectors. Um, so I want to go with the uh, top route here. And uh, rock control is also good because uh, this gives us uh, the chance for uh, rock crew members. And they are also good for putting out fires and uh, blue options. Okay, let's first head to the distress. Search for the ship. Um, Stasi chamber um, means um, if we can find uh, a repair station or have a clone bay, we would get uh, a crew member. But we take the weapon and the uh, and the scrap, and it's a stun bomb! Yay! Not very useful for us. Um, okay. Um, how does this look? As you may have noticed, the uh, NG ship only has three uh, slots for weapons, but three for drones. And um, basically that would mean, while well, normally you, you can go for um, a two power weapon set up in uh, each slot, at least at the average, um, and be able to power all of them. Uh, here we could go higher um, and then have uh, the, the drones there. So usually a good setup would be probably a, a, a defense 2 drone uh, plus a combat drone and uh, then probably in the last slot um, uh, hull repair. But let's see what we can uh, manage here. This one first. Okay, here we can repair damage and we have not 10 damage, so uh, let's repair uh, 5 and be on our way. That's also the reason why I uh, do not tend to uh, repair fully up uh, in the store. Just in case we come across a repair station. Okay, what do we have here? Augments, um not very good. Burst laser. I would prepare, prefer burst laser mark two. Um, but I think we have to take it, but we can uh, sell the uh, stun bomb. And let's grab three fuel. So uh, we have 12, which is a good average. And then we have to worry about uh, coming up with the uh, power solution for our uh, new weapon. But one thing at a time. Aid the civilian ship, possible double reward. Okay. 
Okay, let's do this uh, the uh, old way. Iron Blast and Combat Drone. And this ship cannot hurt us because we have two shields. So uh, basically it's only a matter of time. How are we leveling? Nicely. Okay. And another two home points repaired. So we're in pretty good shape. They would probably have repaired uh, more if we had more damage. Um, this is, uh, I think, uh, shoots three lasers. So, same as always. And potentially they will try to board us. So let's uh, head over here, open all the doors. And then Contact the Federation ships and there you see we have the first blue option and that's because of the uh, dispersal and we got a crew member who is also handy in um, in shields so I think we will uh, switch him over to uh, shields and um, Burko um, sensors or doors. Sensors. We can always switch him over to the doors, which are right next door. And with that, we have one additional power uh, for. Two more weapons, we need 85 plus 25, 110, if my math is correct, which is not always the case. Okay, I actually don't care for the store, so let's go. Uh, down, 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 or something like this. Ooh, sun and intruders. Um, let's do the same thing. Let's move everyone in uh, here. These are rocks and they are also uh, pretty slow, but uh, they have 150 health compared to the normal 100 or Okay, we have a fire in sensors, but 
that should go out pretty soon as there is no oxy oxygen in there. Let's wait till the uh, oxygen goes up and jump right before the flare hits us. More intruders! It's not very nice of you, but um, we know how we can uh, deal with you. You will come to us eventually. Ooh, uh, and we have a ship to fight. Um, actually, let's try a different tactic this time. Because they cannot hurt us. But if we can get their shields down. We should be safe. Yep. And I forgot to reset the stations. And now with sensors working we can see into their ship. Well, with sensors working and uh, sensors manned or remand. No surrender! You were too much trouble. The rocks are also pretty slow when repairing. It's not just that the, the moving. And they are gone. So, nearly there. Um, let's go here. Who they have a rocket? I don't like that. So I would like to get this out as fast as possible because rockets can hurt us. And rockets are down. Actually, this uh, alternating pattern with the iron blast works pretty well. I did not use that before. Uh, that's uh, definitely uh, something to remember. Okay, so exit will be in the red in the next one. Let's go here. A to civilian ship, possible double reward. Um, I'm not sure if um, this will work because they have a repair drone um, and if they repair the uh, shields before 
I can put in the next shot. Okay, this probably does not work. Uh, and they have an anti drone thing. Well, at least they cannot hurt us. It may take a while. Um, so let's talk a bit more about this uh, ship. As you can see, uh, it's pretty uh, roundish, which uh, makes it a good candidate for uh, uh, drone defense because uh, uh, Almost the uh, the uh, whole ship is uh, equidistance from uh, from each position the uh, the drone makes. Okay, I think this strategy is working somewhat. And uh, as a nice side effect, we can level up uh, our crew. You can see uh, we are on piloting skills. We are on the second tier. Engines not already. Okay, we need one more hit. Okay, and double reward. Okay, now we need to take a dive. So let's first have a look at uh, upgrades. Okay. And we still have enough power for the uh, combat drone and a bit spare. So let's put that in uh, piloting because this gives us now 22% evasion, which should help somewhat. And Okay. This is not so bad. This, however, is. Why always the uh, mad bay? Well, they're uh, pretty much uh, damaged and toast. So let's jump to the next sector. And with that, we are at the end of the second episode of the second season. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>